10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus forty seconds, Falcon Nine successfully lifting off from launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We actually just throttled down for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Max Q. So call out there for having gone through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's when the loads on the vehicle are the highest from the combination of our velocity, but increasing while the density of the atmosphere decreases. Now coming up in just about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. First will be main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where we'll shut down those nine Merlin engines. You can see the plume expanding from them on the uh, back of the rocket here. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. So there is successful stage separation on the left-hand side of your screen. That's the first stage. On the right-hand side of your screen is the Merlin vacuum engine starting to glow brightly with the heat of that combustion reaction. First stage making its way back towards Acquisition of planet Earth. Maryland. Coming up here, should be fairing deployment fairing shortly. Confirmed. There's a call out on the nets and a beautiful shot of the Starlink satellites. You can see on the right-hand side there, a little bit of planet Earth. And actually, you can see a fairing half there trailing away. Now, as a reminder, we will be second stage heading towards its targeted drop-off orbit. Now, while that's happening, the first stage is actually going to execute two burns to make its way back to Earth. You can see right now that we are actually pitching the first stage vehicle to try to get those Merlin engines facing uh, towards the atmosphere. Bermuda. Those periodic uh, gas clouds that you see along the first stage are actually from our attitude control system. And once we get to the top of the Earth's atmosphere, we'll ignite three of the nine Merlin engines for entry burn. That'll help slow down the first stage as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And the second of those burns will actually happen much closer to touchdown on the drone ship. That's the landing burn we'll, where we will ignite just a single Merlin engine at the center. Seco one. And successful shutdown of the Merlin vacuum engine. Navigation officers will be assessing whether we have ended up in the right orbit. And uh, most of the way up, we were right down the middle Nominal orbit insertion. It's a good call out there. We're in the first of two planned orbits. Now, the second stage is going to coast in this orbit for about the next 30 minutes, it, since the vehicle is right now uh, both going thousands of miles an hour. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. Startup of those three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Expected loss of signal, Cape. So, with that, we will continue on the first stage to apply some attitude control from those uh, attitude control thrusters. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And uh, the, the grid fins will continue to fly Falcon 9 in, creating, giving us aerodynamic control. Looks like we just lost the link as it re-enters there. Here's a shot of the drone ship. Again, that's 624 kilometers off the east coast of Florida, awaiting first stage for a landing attempt. Second stage continuing to look good. That glow that you see on the nozzle extension is normal. Coming up here, we expect to hear a call out for landing burn start on the first stage. That'll be just a single center Merlin landing engine. Landing burn start up. Shortly after, we'll expect to see landing leg deploy and then hopefully a touchdown on the drone ship. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing leg deploy.
Looks like right in the center. That marks 61 successful recoveries. Third time for this booster. Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. MVAC burn two. And good shutdown. So super fast second engine start number two, and then followed by second engine cutoff number two. That was to raise uh, the perigee or the lowest point of our orbit satellites. Starlink is part of our space based internet constellation. And we're continuing to build up that network with today's launch. It's coming up about 10 seconds. Expect to see payload deployment. Starlink deployed, confirmed. So you can see the Starlink satellites gently floating away from the second stage. Now, uh, shortly, they will, once they've had a chance to space out a little bit, they'll deploy their solar arrays. And over the next few days and weeks, they'll start to distance themselves out using their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final operational orbits, about 550 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It's actually going to bring our webcast coverage to a close. We want to thank, give a big thanks to the range and the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in getting future news about Starlink, head on over to Starlink.com and sign up for updates. With that, we hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and a happy end to Scrub Tober.